am a quality assurance associate, and what that means is that I make sure that there is quality within our product and that we are meeting our industry standards and regulations. Usually in a company or an organization, there's two different type structures. One is a quality control department and one is a quality assurance department. The quality control department primarily measures um, different product attributes within a process and the quality assurance just guarantees that that quality is in the product and that it's something that's repeatable and that it's documented. I use um, SOPs or standard operating procedures and those give detailed steps about how to um, complete a process um, to get that final product through. If we have, let's say, reoccurring problems maybe in the same steps or areas, we actually would take the time to go and speak to the person who performs that task. So in a QA role, we're always collaborating um, with everyone because we just want to make sure that we're making the best product that we can. We want to make sure that we have documentation that's clear. We want to make sure that we're capturing the correct information. Um, we want to make sure that people have great documentation practices in which your writing is legible. Um, we want to make sure that someone can come behind you and understand what you did. And also, if you do things the way that it's reported or asked of you in the instruction, you always have a repeatable process. As a quality assurance associate, I would work with the warehouse personnel to make sure that any incoming product meets specifications that we need in order to have a sellable product to our customers. So we want to make sure that there are no impurities. We want to make sure that the raw materials meet all the specifications that our vendor says that it should. To be in a quality assurance role, you would have to have a bachelor's degree in either science or engineering. If you are a high school student and you're interested in a quality assurance associate position, I would say make sure you're taking um, English classes, definitely, because it takes a lot of documentation. There's a lot of reports that you have to write. If you are taking classes in chemistry or maybe even biology, some of the other life sciences, you want to make sure you're doing pretty well in your math um, because there are some calculations that are involved and at least you want to be able to make sure that those are correct. In high school I was very interested in chemistry. I love my chemistry labs. I um, got a kick out of making subtle changes and you know getting big results. And so that has helped me in a quality assurance position in that I can understand, especially when we have deviations or things that are out of specification, what we're looking for, we actually have to go through an investigation. So you can work in a biotechnology industry, you can work in biopharma, you can work in a science lab. You can begin as maybe an entry-level person um, where maybe you are just doing more batch record reviews or maybe you can become more of a senior level quality um, associate, maybe manager or director. So there's some different options that you have. I definitely like my job. Each day that I come in, it's just a different story, a different scenario. It's a lot of variety, so I definitely enjoy it. It's not, not very mundane. This video was developed by NCABR, a nonprofit science education organization. Funding provided by the Biogen IDEC Foundation in support of innovative ways to promote science literacy and encourage young people to consider science careers. Filmed at the Golden Leaf Biomanufacturing Training and Education Center at NC State University in Raleigh.